we're back. And eh, not as bad as ever. I hope we've gotten better, actually. We'll find out, because it's time for another two nights on Friday. Welcome back. I finally got around to doing it again. Um, so yeah, welcome back to Nagato Nights on Friday. Is that voice still as stupid as I hope it is? Because I really hope it's still stupid. Anyway, um, so, just get right down to it, because that's what's important. And hopefully during the time I'm doing this, I will come up with what's going to be featured presentation, because I have not even thought about that until just now. Alright, so, begin. So, unless you've been living under a rock since... I don't know, this week, earlier this week, Nintendo had a big direct and they revealed a whole bunch of new amazing stuff and we're going to talk about two of them because I don't want to spend the entire video talking about Nintendo Direct. I feel like it's not fair to the other people. Okay, so the first one, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask is coming to the Nintendo 3DS next year and it's already available for pre-order. Um, yeah. The, um, what is it? You can go to Amazon, um, or the official Nintendo UK store and you can start pre ordering the game. Um, what is it? The dates listed are, per, are placeholders, so those don't mean anything. Don't pay attention to those placeholder dates. Now, in an effort to continually anger their American uh, fans, though, Nintendo has, is releasing a collector's edition of Majora's Mask. In Europe only. You get the game, a double-sided poster, a steel book, uh, and a pin badge. And it's only available in Europe. America gets nothing of the sort. We can still pre-order it, we just don't get that. So once again, Nintendo continues to, you know, screw us in America. But hey, I, at least we still get the game. I think they think that's all we need. And there's nothing we can do about it, though, at this rate. At least I don't think so. I have no attachment to Majora's Mask. I never played the original on the Nintendo 64. Um, but I do kind of get the feel. I do kind of get the feeling this is not right, you know. I, even though I've never played it, um, I'm still not. I don't. I still don't think it's cool. Cause that's that's something that's really cool. I like that little pin. I mean, I probably never wear, but I'd like to have it. Oh well, moving on. And in the way of other Nintendo things they revealed, the only other thing that I cared about from the Direct was the announcement of how Amiibos work with Mario Kart 8. The list of available Amiibos that work for it are Mario, Yoshi, Peach, Samus, Lo Link, almost said Lonk, Kirby, Fox, and Donkey Kong. I know what you're thinking. Half of those aren't even in uh, Mario Kart 8, are they? Well, they're not. Um, oh, I forgot to mention Captain Falcon and Luigi. Um, when those, uh, when these amiibos are used with Mario Kart 8, it unlocks costumes for your me to use. And, don't worry, I do have a picture of that. Behold the glory! Or, kind of lack thereof, depending on what you think. Um, so first impressions, um, Samus has two arm cannons. Um, I'm gonna use the fox one for my me. I'm totally making a me of Captain Falcon and using that costume for him. And yeah, it'll be pretty freaking amazing. They also talked about how Amiibo works with Hyrule Warriors. Every Amiibo that is compatible with Super Smash Brothers works for Hyrule Warriors. And it unlocks random item drops. Unless you use Link, because then Link gets the spinner from Twilight Princess. Makes you wonder if uh, Ganondorf and Zelda and Sheik get uh, special items from their amiibos. Oh well. Next! So if you haven't been paying attention to the uploads lately on this channel, I have been playing a lot of Ultra Street Fighter 4. Like, seriously. Um... Because I'm waiting for Omega Mode, which we still have a release date for! Anyway, so Capcom announced a new costume pack! But also still don't have a release date, but it's probably coming out about the same time as Omega. Um, and it is 
the wild pack. So you get wild costumes for your character based off of animals. And yes, there is a picture of it. So here are the ones we have. Dudley is a British bulldog. Gen is a goat. Ryu is a white wolf. Hakan is an octopus? Why? And Cammy is a human. I mean, she's a human wearing fox ears and a uh, tail. Are all the girls gonna be like that? Are all the girls gonna just be wearing animal body parts and not be full blown animal? Because that's kind of lame. And no internet. No furry jokes. No. I mean, like, it's just. Why are the guys animals and the girls aren't? Anyway, why is Hakan an octopus? Can, can we not do that? And Ryu better have a John Talbane from Darkstalkers skin. Or else. So, who is excited for Wild Ultra Strength Fighter 4 Omega Zoo Edition? I kind of want to trademark that. Call me Capcom. And, finally, the last topic of the day. Ugh. Star Wars Episode 7 got its title, and it's kind of meh. Like, really, 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 really meh. Alright, let's skip the arbitrary, it slept through the prequels, it slept through Phantom Menace, etc. jokes. Because we all know it totally did. Um, but in all seriousness, they really could have just named this Matt Wars. Or the Force Goes to Bed Early Tonight. And 10 billion people will still go see this movie. And there's not even that many people alive today. Ugh. No. I'm done. I'm done. JJ Abrams, I'm done with you. It's over. We're done. We're done. No more. We're, we're done. We're through. It's over. If you'll excuse me, guys, I have to go blow my brains out. I think I'm gonna need a bigger finger gun. I'll go. I'll go find one, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Biney.